Hi Marissa, how you doing? Um, I'm new to this. Uh, I can't even say I'm really rusty at it because I've never actually done it more than once before. Uh, I think I've done it. Uh, I've, I've attempted to do it and then sort of gave up, uh, which has explained something in this screen capture kind of way. Uh, this is the Beast iMovie. Uh, we have a love-hate relationship. And uh, whatever version you have of iMovie, I have the HD one, uh, it's going to be fairly similar. And uh, in the regard to what we're talking about here, it's going to be exactly the same. There's a couple of new features that they've put into this one. But it's pretty, basically, it's still a piece of crap. I mean, if you look, we're into, this is ridiculous, we're into iMovie 6.03 now. And there's still problems. It still unexpectedly quits on me. I, I feel like throwing my computer out the window most days because of this stupid program. And I'd rather, I much prefer to use Final Cut or something, but it's just not worth the effort for these videos. Anyway, um, hopefully you'll glean something from this, and I better get started, or this is going to get too long, very fast. All right. Um, to, I don't know how much you know, like I say, so bear with me. Uh, what I like to do with clips, and it's the best way of working with audio, is rather than work with audio from just your standard awful audio, there, rather than do that. Um, I like to work with the audio separately. Now how you do that is just click on that clip, make sure it's selected, go to the advanced tab here, select extract audio. Now that will just make that an independent file so you can work with it individually. And uh, it's, a, it's a lot better because you can see what you're doing. Now if it were me I'd prefer there'd be like two or three video tracks as well so you could superimpose and like in an easier way than you have to muck around with doing here but um, was not to be, they didn't want to do it because they're idiots. Um, I'll try not to slag them off too much so I can get more of this done. Anyway, that's another thing. If you want to alter it, this audio, the way that it comes in and out, so on, um, provided you've, like me, and too lazy to buy a two-button mouse, you've still got the old Mac mouse, hold down Control key and click, and this contextual menu will come up couple of things you probably want to do here. Show audio waveforms is always nice because you can see what you're actually doing. You can see where your audio is and such. Um, that's more of a visual thing. And then we've got show clip volume levels, which is an important one. Turn that on and you'll see you've got the line here. Oh, more mail. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it's basically just click and make, a, make your keyframes and you can drag them, you can click and drag them wherever you want, you can do that manually that way if you want or you can alter them numerically, just click in here and just type in the percentage like higher percentage, the higher the volume etc. Uh, type in that percentage, so 50%, it will jump to that, it's a more accurate way of working with that. Just make sure your timeline is stretched out so you know what you're doing. Um, and yeah, just sort of roughly do that and you'll see that when you play it, it will fade in. Yeah, it's a bit hard to hear, but it will. That's <laughs> it will do it, and that's sort of just muck around with those, and you'll figure that out. Or yeah, whatever. Uh, and I usually just sort of type whatever in here and get that to whatever percentage I want, or just drag the bar, whatever whatever tickles your fancy. Um, as for music is concerned, where's the music bit? Uh, da, 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 da. Still not there. Oh yeah, I brought some music in here. I noticed on your clip, you had like um, you had your music and your sound on at the same time. I don't know if that was on purpose, but when I'll show you how to fix that if you didn't know. Uh, we'll play this now. You see that sound and that horrible train audio. It's happening at the same time. I don't want that, so I'll just click on the main clip and pull that audio down to zero. Make sure that's on zero there. Uh, you could type that in. You could just type in zero too if you want to do that. And enter, um, and that will pull that out. Simple as that. Just hit play now, and you just get your just your music on that. 
not too shabby. Um, yeah, and of course, same deal if you wanted to adjust your keyframes there and just bring your music in very slowly or however you'd like to do it. You can do it that way by just mucking around with those keyframes. So I probably should have done, but yeah, I'm not going to put that much effort into a YouTube video. That'd be crazy. Alright, um, I don't even know if that helped you, but, you know, hopefully it did. And uh, just delete those by clicking on them and hitting delete. If you don't want the keyframes anymore, I think I explained that four times. Brilliant. Um, yeah, so, I mean, God. It's not exactly that helpful. But, I mean, I don't like iMovie that much. I use it because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to... It's not worth the effort, <laughs> like I've said. I, it's just not worth it to use anything like Final Cut. But I do, if I'm, if I'm doing anything that I've done, I've done a clip for a company before and it took me like three months. It took me ages because I'm just very finicky when I'm doing something properly. And uh, I'm trying to avoid that. It's part of the reason why I'm on YouTube so I can just not worry so much about you know, what I've edited. But um, I, if I am pedantic about editing, I, I will use Final Cut because you can do everything with it. There's nothing within reason that you can't do. There's nothing I want to do that I can't do. There's just so much in this program. <laughs> I don't know why I've opened it. I'm talking about it, but I just love it so much. It's worth every penny. And uh, it'll, it's solid as a rock. It's just awesome. And I can't sing its praises enough for an editing program. But I'll shut up about that now and say see you later. Uh, hopefully, if uh, you haven't learned anything actually from this, you'll contact me and uh, I can, you know, I can maybe explain it better with uh, using text than I can visually, which seems wrong, but it's probably it's probably more accurate. Anyway, hopefully no one else has watched this video and been completely bored by it. I I will put a warning in the description that it's just for you. But whatever. Okay. See you later.